Welcome to Astronomy for GAN Traders, Series 1, Part 3, called Start from Zero. Each sign of the zodiac is equivalent to 30 degrees of the circle. There are 12 signs, so 30 times 12 equals our 360 degree circle. It is important to the GAN Trader to know how to convert from zodiac to decimal degrees. Now you may not get what's going on here uh, at your first pass through this, but you're more than welcome to watch it as much as you need to. Write it down. Study it. Okay. Over here we have our zodiac. You've all heard of the signs, you know, your sun sign, like Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. Over here is the decimal equivalent. Okay. So zero Gemini, as an example, starts at 60 degrees. That's its equivalent. 60 degrees. Zero Cancer starts at 90 and so on and so forth. That's what we're doing. You need to be able to, in some systems to be able to uh, move from one to the other without problem. I can mentally add this and I've been mentally adding this in my head. It's relatively easy once you get the order of the signs. Okay. Zero Aries. Zodiac gives us zero. A decimal equivalent. Zero Taurus gives us 30 degrees. Zero Gemini gives us 60 degrees. Zero Cancer gives us 90 degrees. Zero Leo gives us 120 degrees. Zero Virgo 150. Zero Libra 180. Zero Scorpio 210. Zero Sagittarius 240. Zero Capricorn 270. Zero Aquarius, 300. Zero Pisces, 330. So, let's say something is located at 28 degrees Leo. Okay? Something's at 28 degrees Leo. That means it's in the 28th degree of the sign Leo. So, you would come here, you would look up Leo, and it says 120. Okay? So, you would take the, it's in the 28th degree of that, so you would take the 120, you would add 28, which gives a decimal equivalent of 148. So, when someone says 28 Leo, it's exactly equivalent to 148, okay, degrees in the circle. 28 Leo is 148 degrees in the circle. Very simple once you get the order of this down. If something is at 7 degrees Sagittarius, you would simply go down here and you would look and you would say, okay, zero Sagittarius is 240. Something is in the seventh degree of Sagittarius, you simply take the 240 and add the seven and you would get 247 degrees. So seven Sagittarius is equal to 247 degrees. Okay? And those are known as going from zodiac to decimal equivalent. You, didn't, you need to know which uh, you need to know what degrees encompass the signs. Aries runs from 0 to 29 degrees. Taurus runs from 30 to 59 degrees. Gemini runs from 60 to 89 degrees. Cancer runs from 90 to 119 degrees. Leo runs from 120 to 149 degrees. Virgo runs from 150 to 179 degrees. Libra runs from 180 to 209 degrees. Scorpio runs from 210 to 239 degrees. Sagittarius runs from 240 to 269 degrees. Capricorn runs from 270 to 299 degrees. Aquarius runs from 300 to 329 degrees. Pisces runs from 330 to 359 degrees. Now I've been teaching this to people for over a decade and what I, what I tell them to do when they're just starting out is, is draw a big circle on a piece of paper, slice it into 12 slices like a pizza, okay, and label these going in clockwise uh, around the circle, okay, and that way that'll get you up to speed on this and, and every once in a while study it for a little while, okay. This is very important because in some systems you have to go through uh, and, and like say if someone says 9 Leo, you would know it's 120 plus 9 equals 129 degrees, okay? So they're talking about 129 degrees as an example here. Okay, have you mastered that yet? That's okay, take your time. We need to move on here. 
this is an ephemeris okay what you're looking at is an ephemeris the definition of an ephemeris is a table of planetary positions a table of planetary positions and what we have down here is the date this is set for 12 noon Eastern Standard Time okay 12 p.m. these are the dates the time and these are the planet headers up here you need to learn these glyphs okay and what they are you can see them on your screen what these glyphs are so go ahead and study them okay now as you can see there's little R's around here okay R's here with like a little prescription sign little RX that stands for retrograde that means the planet is moving backwards okay and the R says it starts it at that day and the D stands for direct a planet and these of course are geocentric a planet here is moving uh, was moving backwards and it went direct and started moving forward on this day this is Saturn as you can see it's moving to the zodiac 27 Virgo 52 27 Virgo 50 it gets down here 27 Virgo 50 it's, it's, it was heading down now it starts heading up 27 Virgo 51 52 27 Virgo 55 and so on it went direct okay heliocentric planets do not have retrograde because they're viewed from the Sun geocentric planets do have retrograde and these retrograde periods are, are of course important in certain systems okay so that's what these R's and D's mean all of these glyphs are the signs the symbols of the zodiac and you can find those all over the internet we're not going to get into those you need to of course memorize those all right and because we're going to we're going to be doing a lot with and working with this ephemeris soon okay um, there's also as you can see and we'll take the same time period as you can see here now we've converted these to decimal degrees okay this is still the same ephemeris but you there's no signs in here like we saw Virgo for Saturn this is all now called decimal degrees and in some systems we work with this okay and that's a comment it's important to know what's going on this is the same exact uh, setup as you just saw except we've converted from zodiac to decimal degrees okay very very simple calculations once you understand it you know if you take a look at the charts that come with uh, WD GAN's master courses we got them uh, free for our members at uh, wheelsinthesky.com okay or, or Yahoo site wheels in the sky all one word um, if you look at those charts you'll see astrological glyphs you'll see like the Aries symbol the Jupiter symbol and all that stuff all throughout there okay if you, if you take a look at it in in ours are PDF so you can it allows you to enlarge them to, and magnify them uh, uh, to incredible sizes to really get in and look at those charts you know so this is this is very important and it's going to be important for some of our work uh, later on down the road here this is uh, advanced uh, some people have uh, many people have come to me over the years and they want to know how to convert like say 126 point nine degrees into zodiac or back okay here's the formula to do that I'm gonna go ahead and give that to you now if you're going from decimal to zodiac and say your number is 126 point nine degrees okay what you do is you take the point nine and you divide it by five you times it by three okay and you get 54 minutes so it would be 126 degrees 54 minutes if you're going from zodiac to decimal okay you would have 126 degrees and 54 minutes you would then divide that by three no, I'm sorry the 54 minutes you would divide by three you would times it by five and you would get 126.9 okay so that gives you uh, uh, both of those conversions I know that's advanced for some of you but others will love it because it's uh, very helpful all right I'm BA from uh, the wheels in the sky site and like I said you know come visit us thank you